N and M. Another version of us. What are we really? Why do we exist in the first place? The answers are within me. Together with her hopes and dreams. I will give them a voice. I will make him hear our truth. Hello everyone, Zeno Zimmer here, and welcome back to Let's Play Zimbley Chronicles 3. Last time, uh, we defeated D and J, and saw Nia, Queen Nia, who is as crass as ever. Three hundred days remain to the intersection. It seems we might make it. Yes. It took every bit of our combined intellects, but we built it. To prepare for the time our two worlds collide. All that we are is contained within. Memories and our souls. We will all be gone, and then reborn. Will it be a new beginning? Or our demise. No one can tell us that. Time will run its due course. And show us the true meaning of our deed. In the distant past, what was once a single world was cleft in twain. Plus and minus, on the surface, they were identical. These two worlds of opposing nature knew nothing of each other as they wended their way towards their own respective futures. However, the worlds yearned for each other against the solitude of existence. They strove to reunite. Though it would spell certain destruction, should the two worlds intersect, they would cancel each other out and cease to be, leaving only light. Light, a shining beacon in the darkness, the last common language left to us. Though we inhabited separate worlds, the medium of light allowed us to communicate for the very first time. And so we sought for a way to prevent total oblivion. We pooled our knowledge and through time gave birth to a single point of hope. Origin. An arc containing all the world's data recorded in words of light, carrying hope into the future. Origin was a system we constructed to reboot the world's states. And then, time was upon us. The reboot process failed to initiate. Instead, in that instant, the worlds became still. By the will of Mobius. So it's their fault. And at the heart of it, was their ringleader, Zed. You could say Zed embodies this frozen world. But what does that achieve? Freezing everything. Not a thing. He didn't need to do anything after that. Only... to keep everything in its place in stasis, and create an eternity to abide within. As was their wish. He made our lives their sustenance. 
Precisely so. In order to gain control of Origin, Zed captured the Kavesi Queen. To what end? To access the memories in Origin. To bend them to his will. He needed a key held only by its creators. A key? A heart might be more fitting. Zed used the key held by the Queen of Kevis and seized Origin in its entirety. Controlling Origin means controlling the world. And having shackled it, he can bend it to his will. Life and death are his playthings. Life and death. No one, not even M, knew the origins of this world. So I guess you have another key. Yes, it's in my possession. With its help, I was able to create the Ouroboros Stones. Though most of the power is with Zed, I have been able to resist him to a small extent. It's a cogwheel? One of the gears from Origin. Through a process of catalysis between the Origin substrate and the core in my chest, I can generate the stones. And thanks to that, we became Ouroboros. Yes, but not completely. Huh? Remember, have you not succumbed to Mobius's power before? <sighs> As I've said before, Zed commands the world's very fabric. Unfortunately, my own powers are sorely limited. And yet, you too can break Zed's fetters, as you've shown. Smashing through the rules he established. With your Ouroboros powers, and the Sword of the End, both. The Sword of the End? The sword you hold. It is a byproduct of resonance between the Kavesi Queen's heart and origin. Does that mean... It's like an Ouroboros stone. The Ouroboros stones and the sword, they're mere gimmicks. The crux of them lies with you. You see, there are keys inside of you, too. Inside of us? Keys? Finally, my efforts were rewarded. I'm glad to meet with all of you who embody hope. Majesty? What is it that we must do? Right. Infiltrate Origin, then free it and the Kavesi Queen from Zed. From the hands of Mobius once and for all. If we do free it, will we get to change the world? It's so cruel and senseless. Can we undo that? <sighs> Your Majesty... If you desire to have a future before you... I need to know. Zed and Mobius, must they be our enemy? Noah. Now that is something for you to decide. After confronting them and discerning for yourselves what they truly are. Right. Come this way. Could you have more names? Leave the healing to me. Take the offensive then. Nothing's getting past me. Support you. 
Got it. Behold. There are the nadir of the vortex, sleep's origin. In the sea? Deep beneath the sea where none may tread, Zed spins his world-spanning web. So you're saying... the Queen of Kevis... she's there as well? Well, snuff me. I want to save the Queen as much as the next guy. But how are we supposed to even get there? You can't even get near without being ripped apart. Yeah, but if anyone were to know the trick, it's Queen Nia. Seeing as, you know, she's the mastermind behind the whole origin shebang, yeah? Right. Actually, I kind of don't. Oh, but... but you're the Queen! How do you not know that? This is shocking. Absolute nonsense. I simply cannot believe this. I... I don't know how to respond. Come on, you lot. Rein it in now. Huh? Hang on. Hmm? Mio. Don't you get to use those Mobius powers? Uh, um, well... Then it should be a snap, right? Pew! We're there! Those clowns were doing it all the time! Actually... Go on. I can't use them right now. The Mobius powers. What? I noticed it right after we liberated the castle. I couldn't work out why myself it was so sudden. No! Is this why you blew us off saying to ask the Queen ourselves? Oh, sorry, Uni. Oh, love. I suspect it must be Zed. Huh? The power of Mobius. It's part of the flow and fabric of the world. What is permitted, and what is prohibited, is subject to Zed's whims. Even with Origin. Not every Mobius knows of his existence. But I was able to use the Ouroboros powers. The power you currently wield is, let's say, external to the flow. Even Zed himself cannot grasp what's beyond his reach. Therein is my hope based. We're still stuck, though. We know where to go, but we're kind of dead in the water here. How to tackle the Vortex, then? <gasps> Mr. Salmon. Mr. Salmon was, uh, that Nopon from the city. Yeah. Recall what he said about a ship that could brave the Great Sea. Ultimate vessel. That right. Even Vortex enraging Great Sea not slow advance. It'd go down in history as Queen of Boats. Still work in progress. But sure to bring to fruition someday. It's someone's dream. Yeah, he did say that. Something about it being able to take on stormy weather. Wait, wasn't that a work in progress, though? I think he might have been drawing up blueprints. Whatever Mr. Salmon said, he was pretty ardent about it. Which must mean there might be a way to get there after all. All right, let's go. Yeah. Finally, our lucky break. Looks like this place was worth the trip. Better hurry. I hardly imagine Mobius will stand idly by. Agreed. Your Majesty! Huh? Thanks a lot. Things are looking up. Uh, sure. Right, okay. Uh, I think I understand. If you're looking for someone, he'll be in maintenance, same as usual. I'll send someone to get you. Just head on over. Many thanks. We'll be outside the Cloud Keep.
first. Let's open all this. Wonder what's inside. Because we won't be coming back, so might as well take all this gear. And Nia decide huh? just to leave, apparently. Thanks, Nia. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that's too, too great a fall. <sighs> Back to the city for a bit then. Yeah, Travis arranged to have us picked up at the entrance. Down. That smarts. <gasps> These entrance stairs are super long. Hey, that gives me an idea. You want to do some sprints after? Slowly walking down. Hmm. Kind of wish Nia was a party member, though. It'd be nice to have no party member. Plus, it'd be plot important. So, reason to be here. I'm just glad the people in the city made it through unscathed. Me too. It's a huge weight off my mind. Son? Ah, friends mean old Butte. She tucked away, all cosy in dock number three. What, really? Curious? We are. All righty. Then please follow Sam on to port. Okay, good. Oh, there's more. God, come on, just give me the information. Oh my God. Game. City discontent.
guy. Yeah, let's ignore these guys. Hello, full boot. Well, we're making time. That container. So, about this dock number three. Ship is a combination of life and mission, so if anything happened, someone die of heart fracture. Is that why? She isn't sneaky like. Is that where you're keeping it? Dr. Murphy, rip this way please. Someone take you. So this is it. The ship that can conquer the Great Sea's Vortex. So we And you got it all ready, too! It's like a different beast from what we've been using. I'd venture to call it a masterwork. There's a real sense of power behind this craft. Please not to get garments in twist. This is just hull. Just, just the hull! hull. Key elements of engine not quite ready yet. Ship without engine is like a light like torpedo wrap without filling of tasty sausage. That crime against cuisine! Torpedo wrap without tasty sausage like ship without engine! Mr. Salmon, what is it the engine needs? To be precise, just need core component. Is this part here, and still needs six more to make. Unfortunately, only have this one here. I've seen that metal before. It's the same as Noah's sword, right? Yeah. Looks like it. Also, it's same as metal that go inside fancy eye patches of lost numbers. Friends know eye patches block Mobius tracking, surely? Yeah, we heard that from Monica. That because eye patch emits special wavelengths. This here shows sources of such waves. Points of light on map indicate where metal can be located. But Samon could not visit. Every place is fearsome scary. Can't you just use the metal from the eye patches? Those important equipment for lost numbers, so no can do. And even if could, metal is stretched into thin foil, making total amount not sufficient. That's a shame. Mio, look over here. Yeah, the cloud keep. It's that thing that the Queen had. Mr. Salmon, so if we got you six more, you could complete the ship? Naturally. With that can make ship with power and defense that weather any storm or hole in sea. How long would it take to build? <sighs> we'll give it three days, tops. Wow, that's real snappy. 
Good. As time is of the essence. All right. Let's crack on. Yeah. Mr. Salmon, don't you worry. We'll get you your parts. Man. Wait, hold Ponyos. Someone think someone deserves some kind of explanation. Alright, here's the thing. Now someone get it. So friends want to use ship. Well then, that only one more thing. To make friends search for core parts easier, someone must have deep data from previously. How's that? Did right from observe source can only show broad stroke positions. Now someone will make the data more precise. Currently can only constrain to area of about 200 square metre. With a bit more elbow grease, should be able to increase accuracy to 200 metre. That's good right? This will be a walking apart. Indeed you do. May take us less time than I anticipated. Right. Mr. Simon, sir, you're sort of our hero right now. So, friends currently have any ideas? Definitely. We know who has the part in the Tea region. We should go there now. Split it. No more friends. It's too late. Simon will allow his remaining locations. We'll send Diego's button ready. All friends are excited. Thank you, Mr. Simon. Alright then, let's get going. Yeah, first up, the cloud key. Yes, I I don't get what this is. This might as well be a hero quest. Oh god. Just gonna warp there. <laughs> Quicker than just walk in there. I didn't expect we'd be going back to meet the Queen again so soon. What? Why are you here again? <laughs> what? Huh? Oh. Hey? Uh. The gears of origin. What fate that they would be the ones to guide you? Ouroboros and the sword of the end have. They brought us this far, so I wouldn't be surprised. I understand. Well, in that case, I will gladly concede it. Right? It was all a part of your grand design, yeah? The future must be sculpted with one's own hands. Something like that? Right, certainly. The future isn't something you can just be given. You do have to reach for it with your own hands, yes. Well, that's the first. Five left to go. Did you just put it in your pocket? Everything start. Just to go. Yeah, could be worse. Keep going like this, and job done. Thank you, Majesty. I promise you, we won't waste this gift. Wait a moment. How will you access Origin, even with the ship? I mean... We're gonna plunge into the Great Sea's Vortex. And after that? Origin is protected on every side by thick armor plating. You think you'll find a berth? I guess... uh... Maybe? For starters, we don't even know Origin's general schematic. We're going in blind. <sighs> Take this. 
What's this? Is this... Origin? A certain Nopon engineer was involved. On the Agnian side of Origin's construction. That's an early blueprint left behind from those days. The Great Sea's vortex is likely born from the force field emitted by this middle part, amplified by the structure built up around the circumference. That would be my best guess, anyway. As for the original purpose of the structure, it was a device to deploy a field to protect the facility while it generated an omni-static space. Consequently, this middle section here, it lacks the armored shell, making it Origin's only weak point. So then, basically, this is our entrance. Enter the vortex, and then using its flow, break through to the inside. Once you are within, destroy the force field generator at the center. That's the trick. Yes, I see. However, the internal structure of Origin may well have been heavily modified by Zed. Even after you make it in, you must be on your guard. Understood. We'll be fully prepared. Huh. You gotta hand it to the Queen, though. How could anyone know all that? Shocking, I know. Absolutely. I simply cannot believe this. Come on, you lot. Make your minds up already, will you? <sighs> and she doesn't join us again. By the way, after you met up with M, you were sleeping here all this time, right? Yes. So then, how did you know we'd become Uroboros? You seem to know what had happened at the castle as well. Even as I sleep, I learn. Information on everything in this world collects right here. Thank you so much for all this. I promise you, we will seize the future. That's the first bit of orange mail taken care of. Oh, a call from a son. Hello? Friends, find first part now? Yeah, just a moment ago. You got good timing, old man. What friend saying? Someone please call up seeing source of signal move. Moving. Very evident proof of obtaining. Oh, well, uh, you know what I say to that. Meh. Nah. The sensors could detect such Small displacement? Truly impressive. Mr. Salmon, I'm guessing since you called us. Ah yes, I've finished location data analysis. For only two places, however. In North Atea region and east of Candencia. For signals, Salmon could triangulate more precisely. Data just updated, so please check. We got it, thanks Mr. Salmon. Not to worries, please keep the good work. So Atea and Candencia next, huh? The one in Atea is... Huh? An ever black plane. And for Cadencia, Dia seems to be pointing to keep Akapor, Akapor, and the Rifia Sea. Right, oh, let's go on with the loves. Whoa! No, uh, I'm gonna climb these stairs again just to see if Nia is there. And we can talk to her. Apologies. But I just can't. It should show us if there is talks. Nope, there's no talks. Hill. In 
Interesting. <sighs> Let's go someplace else. Let's go someplace else. Let's go someplace else. Whoa, check this place out. What's wall? That's her. The origin metal signal was coming from around here, right? Everyone. Oh. Oh. Seriously? This is not kind of... Huh? Hear that? Why isn't Agnes dropped when there isn't... Huh. Oh, we're opening did you it. See that? What'll it be? Oh, I hate the suspense. I'll need a hand here. Uh... No one would believe me. Oh, single version mail coming clear. Must be here now. I'm starting to feel like treasure hunt. We we'll get kind of excited. You know, you've got a point. It is kind of like one big world hopping treasure hunting adventure. All right, calm down. Where's the signal then? It coming from over that way. If judged by distance reading, probably behind that ridge. Hey, banana, race you for it. Okay, banana. Banana, not give up easy. You guys. Shall we deal with this? Watch your footing, guys. piece and that's a big one to give up the one we got from her majesty that makes two good luck for it found it so quickly you know, I hope other pieces will come to us just smoothly let's try it down the metal in Kinesia all right Make sure that this quest hopefully is done. <sighs> no, I'm going to we could do with some food. Well, multiple things. 
Let's lay out the facts. Side story center. Let's lay out the facts. Vandam's heir. I think we need to discuss this. We've got some heroes quests, but important story stuff starting to come up, so. I definitely feel stronger. Ugh. Right then, should we get a move on? Topographical info update. So now it goes. Shall we deal with this? Run. <gasps> Shall we deal with this? I'll draw the reinforcements. Uh, no. You itching to get wrecked? Vulcan Falls. Oh, look at your treasure is singly behind waterfall. I'm just gonna... Because I kind of want this... Because I know this is going to be a long way. I'm just going to skip through... Not skip through it, but I'm going to not talk it out. Apologies. We'll have to read. Especially with how the true metal signal was coming from around here. All right, where to start? Otherworldly Rodson. Nice, otherworldly Rodson. Okay, we don't have to fight. Okay. That really should be two.
Oh. I don't know why they just don't send us here. It's like, yeah, we can't exactly go far. It's already bad enough that there really isn't a map button. Like, well, there is, but not really one that you can just quickly go to like all the other games. Okay, so I've got to follow this. There's not much I can do. Something so valuable here. Look over there. Not much I can talk about. Uh, that smarts. <sighs> <sighs> this is why I think fetch quests like this, while they're interesting, they're so goddamn boring because there's no way to speed up. Is that walking? Gotta watch where we're going. I'll claim the ether here. At least in Zimbabwe one and huh. X. There was quick oh, was a chance to see right here. For one, there was quick step gems which Yeah, didn't do too much speed up up in the long run. It still made things faster. Huh. And then there was X where you literally had mecha, which allowed you to go really fast. Uh, that smarts. Here, I just kind of wish there was a faster mode of transportation, especially in this Magitech world. Like, 
come on, you can't even give me like a small Ferranus to ride out on. Or made it like something, just something quicker in movement. Even if it's just for movement. Jesus! This is Xenoblade trying to kill me, like usual. Hope that's not the level they're expecting me to be. Because if so, I'm going to be disappointing them. Planning on fighting that? No. Top of the Okay, good. Landmark discovered. I need to climb all the way back down here. Tough enemy incoming. Brace yourself. Eat this. That's so good. Claim the ether here. Please. Oh no, that has, it has. Ignore me. But still, that's dumb. That's really dumb. Huh. Why make it a sun mechanic that you can. Sun mechanic, but it's. it's in a story relevant place. Oh. Dragons are regular enemies in this game. That's not fun. That's not gonna be fun. Cause I, I know. I know these games. There is definitely a uh, Dread King Draconia, uh, Dragon King Alcar, and What's the fur dragon's name? The absurd super boss. Well, I would hope there's super, the super boss is a dragon. Dragon and uh, the old Mr. Bros is a dragon and the ultimate one for. Well, what's the other one for Tuesday game? Ten. We're well, getting Titan. a and metal readout from around this area, I think. Let's leave no stone unturned. Yeah, I'd rather. Do leave some stones unturned? Jesus! Okay, good. Not crazy level. You don't need to fight it. But, hey, I guess it's that one. Let's <laughs> go. 
not to change that, but hey. Quite a bit damage, Let's get this done.
Not much I can say I do Because this quest is not so interesting to Let me check. So many car hiles. Sure, we'll freak out. That noise out. I can't. All right. I think you operate it like so. Check, ching. Not too useful, but hey. It does tend to make this faster. <gasps> Might as well just go to here because it's clear, but it's. Yep, it's going to go the opposite way. Before that, might as well just check on Papane. Now, what was it we needed? Have one of those. Might as well do that now. I see some relations have changed. Not too useful. This point. I can just drop, so. You guys will be getting a bit of a long episode. Whoa, got a rare doodah right here! It's interesting that they've moved through that the enemies are low level here. Going about, yeah, no, this area was not that bad to go through. Elise, 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 highway. Let's poke around. Huh? Is 
that? Is that? Found one sticky. We could take it on, but again, episode run long, so I'm gonna be trying to quick things. Saying the town isn't even a landmark, even though we really think it is. Is this where the readout for the Origin Metal's coming from? We'll find it. I dare say we're becoming old hands at this. Oh, don't tell me. If I get some free tries, I'm going to laugh.
Congratulations. You're special. Precious few make it all the way to their homecoming. But this won't do at all. Your lives shine all the brighter if they are extinguished right here on the battlefield. Hmm? What's the meaning of this, Commander Chris? I bid you sheathe your blade, my Lord Consul. Come again? You want to take his shine for yourself? I am simply stating there's no need. Why kill him now? Hmm? His time is at an end. How brightly he shone. He himself knows better than anyone. Your actions will not make him brighter. I'm sure. Mutiny! Why not just let it go, V? M! Why are you here? When their appointed hour arrives, should we not grant them an appropriate departure? Don't be a fool! Then their life will be lost from circulation, will it not? Oh. Zed also wishes it so. Zed does? I refuse to believe it. But... Very well. Do as you see fit, then. If I may, let me send him on. That's a good tune. A Chris original? Yeah, I suppose it is. Maybe I'll pinch it as well. You've got your own tunes, Noah. Those are just as good. Wonderful, I'd say. Really? I only tweaked a few notes in a score from my previous colony. It's not the notes that matter. It's the feelings you imbue them with. Feelings? Raw emotion. It resonates. Respond to the Queen's awakening. The Sword of the End. Of all the vestiges of origin strewn through the world, who knew this fragment yet remained?
It is no longer one with the flow. We have no means of controlling it. Will you go, then? No. There's no need, is there? He will come to me. I know it. To share with me his feelings. feeling this was going to be the case. Just never... Is it here? It's not inside the castle. Okay. So that puts it at... Garden, Garden defense, defense space. space! Garden what now? It's a guard outpost at the castle rear. They bring new recruits there too, for basic training. Well, phew. You had me worried there for a second. Thought we'd be back in the Antal's jaws. Even so, it's an enemy base. We can't expect to just waltz in without a fight. First, let's just try to scope it out. If that's going to be the case, we'll end the episode right also a few here. Where the origin metal was buried. Next time, on Zimbly Chronicles 3, we will probably be, well, fighting Chris. See you guys then. Xenu and Zimmer, signing out.